I've been craving Asian food recently, so this week I'm gonna go to some of my favorite spots here on the Gold Coast. And I'm talking about the restaurants that the locals go to, where you can get some authentic Asian cuisine. I managed to narrow this down to six restaurants. It was really hard, but trust me, these are my go-to restaurants here on the Gold Coast. When you're in Harbor Town, you could find an alleyway by the name of 8th Street. In 8th Street, you could find a restaurant by the name of Mabuhay Grill. This is a Filipino restaurant that serves everything from lechon to sisig to pancit. This is what we're here for today, but there's so many restaurants in 8th Street. Whether you're in the mood for dumplings or noodles or even fried chicken, they got it all here. Honestly, I need to come back here and try more of the restaurants, but today I'm craving sisig. And what I love about Mabuhay Grill is that they serve it on a hot sizzling plate. Sisig is a pork dish with onions and chili peppers and a cracked egg on top. A lot of goodness in here. And we got two skewers, a chicken skewer and a chorizo skewer. Sisig, just to give it a nice little try. That's a flavor bomb. It's almost like a, a gravy kind of taste. It's so delicious. You really taste that pork and tons of flavor. Filipino food does not fail when it comes to flavors. And this is a flavor bomb in every a chicken skewer with some sauce on it. Mm. Another thing you have to try is Filipino barbecue. You taste that char on it, and that sauce is amazing. Try the chorizo. Everything. Every single thing on this plate. Alright, so we had to get one more thing. Halo halo. This is like a dessert in the Philippines. It's always different wherever you get it from. But it always includes ube ice cream. And I couldn't tell you what else they have in here. It's kind of like a lot in here. I don't want to spill it. Yeah, there's like jellies in the bottom, if you guys could see. Mm. Refreshing. If you've ever had ube ice cream, it's probably one of my favorite flavors. Because it's like an earthy, like potato, sweet potato kind of taste, but that might sound weird, but it's, trust me, it's good. When you guys are on the Gold Coast, you have to come to 8th Street, Harbor Town, and try all the Asian food they got here, but especially the Filipino food, because this is amazing. In Southport, you could find my favorite Korean restaurant, and if you come here on Tuesdays, they have a chicken buffet. That means 100 minutes of unlimited fried chicken. But also included on this menu is my new addiction, tteokbokki, or spicy rice cakes. This almost reminds me of like a Korean pasta. I recommend getting the rose flavored. It's very cheesy and the rice cakes are so addicting. My favorite fried chicken here is the garlic soy chicken wings. I'm an American and I can say this is some of the best fried chicken I've ever had. Korean fried chicken, they double fry it, and on the second fry, it's at a higher temperature, and that gives you that really, really crispy crunch. Now, these spicy chili chicken wings would be number one for me. They do have a kick to them, so it might not be for everyone. And after having about three of these, I started sweating, which is probably not a good look when you're eating in public. But other than that fact, these wings are amazing. The flavor is so good. You can really taste the gochujang. We also got some fried dumplings. You also can get drinks here, beers, but I'm not a big drinker. So we just ordered more wings and more tteokbokki. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Good way to start the day. So one thing about being on the Gold Coast is there's so many markets. This is one of our favorite markets, the vegan markets. I know what you're thinking, vegan markets? Come on. The food is delicious here. So this is Ibu Bali, absolutely love this place. You can only find her in markets right now. She does not have a restaurant, but absolutely worth it. We try to come here every time. Mm. Well, it's completely vegan, but it's not lacking in flavor in any way. And there's so much texture. There's like a salad here. So much texture and spices. And 
so damn crunchy. Bali is really close to Australia, which is why you'll, you'll find this food. You won't find this food really in California or anywhere, but you have to try Balinese food, especially from Ibu Bali. Check them out on Instagram, Ibu Bali. This is called the Ibu Bali plate, served with corn fritter, creamy rendang curry, island coconut veggies, crunchy marinated tempeh, served with yellow Bali rice, peanut sauce, and sambal chili sauce made from plants, not oil. Biscoff coconut ice cream. If you've never had Biscoff, you're missing out on life. Now there's so many great food options here, but whenever I come to the vegan markets, I have to get this ice cream. It's just unbelievably good. Biscoff and ice cream together, a match made in heaven. There's so many great markets here on the Gold Coast. Another one of my favorites is the Organic Markets, which is open every Sunday. And while I'm here, I have to get this breakfast from this Japanese stall. They specialize in tofu, so they have everything from tofu tortillas to agadashi sticks. Everything is homemade, and they even use tofu mayo. Agadashi stick. So this tortilla is made of tofu. Their homemade sauce, avocado, tomato, mushrooms inside. I don't know if it's like their family recipe. Mmm, the sauce is so creamy and it's just so savory. The tofu mayo in here is absolutely delicious and it's like the perfect breakfast. To me this beats any like omelet, any egg dish. They've managed to perfect a perfect tofu dish. And this is only at the organic markets in this school in the Gold Coast. It's sweet. It's, it's so good. Almost like in a dessert kind of way, but it's not. It's like a mix between dessert and savory. What I really love about Japanese food is that they balance sweetness and savory perfectly. And this is a great example of that. They also fried it perfectly. But the tofu is still very soft inside. It's so good. So you get all these amazing textures from this dish. My name is Rajinder Singh. I am the head chef and owner of Temple of Spices Indian and Vegan. We are in Marmar Beach on the Gold Coast. So what we do basically is um, Indian food, as a regular Indian food, with some our own twist of uh, being um, a vegan Indian. So basically, we carry two menu, one is the vegan and one is the regular Indian. So what sets us apart from your regular Indian restaurant is whatever we have in our regular Indian menu, we have the similar thing in, in our vegan menu. For example, if we cook the regular butter chicken, we cook the vegan butter chicken with the same love, with the same energy, with the same enthusiasm. Most of my family, they are either vegan or vegetarians. And when we go out, they have to give up their choices. Or if I go with them, I have to give them my choices because in our families, they, everyone have their own beliefs. So when we did start this business with one mission that no one will go hungry from here. So we'll have something for everyone. I pretty much love everything what we cook. This is also um, shows in our mission statement. Um, but I can tell you what people order the most. We cook a lot of vegan butter chickens. We cook a lot of chicken tikka masalas. We cook a lot of lamb rogan josh. Biryani 
So that that is the vegetable biryani, vegan butter chicken, okay. and this is the chicken tikka masala. Amazing. All looks so great. Okay. Thank you so much. And what's this cocktail called? Uh, chili margarita. And that's Indian white beer. Absolutely delicious. Butter chicken on its own. Whoa. As soon as their curry hits your mouth, it's an explosion of flavor that I've never experienced. Let me try this veggie biryani. There's a spice to it. A little bit of heat, completely delicious. And the chicken tikka masala. And that's completely different. That has some heat to it. Ooh. But so flavorful. Taste the tomatoes. You can really taste all the spices. I don't know how they do it. And you gotta see this girl. She's not. So let's get some of this butter chicken with it. This is how you're supposed to eat this curry. Oh my god. I'm telling you, if you guys are in the Gold Coast, you have to come to Temple of Spices here. Honestly, the best Indian food I've ever had. And they're so nice here. They're so amazing. That's good. That's some good beer. I love it here. By far one of my favorite restaurants in general. But if you want to try this food, come to the Gold Coast and off the highway you'll find Temple of Spices. Look it up. Come down here ASAP. You won't regret it. Cheers. Cheers, Mac. So I'm at Surfer's Paradise. We came to our favorite Japanese spot because we are craving Japanese food. Looks absolutely delicious. Oh, the plate's hot from the flaming. From the flaming or? Flaming. Ah, oh, yeah. itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. This is their salad. potato salad. Just a look at the potato salad here. Honestly, the best potato salad I've ever had. Absolutely delicious. If you guys are looking for authentic Japanese food, you gotta try the food here at Izakaya Umakama in Surface Paradise.